A wonderful day to work out at the park. What is happening, everybody? Beautiful day in Phoenix. It's a wonderful 88 degrees today, a little bit warm. The humidity is at 7%, and this is an awesome day. So I'm going to talk about bands today. And thank you, Helen. Helen reminded me that I haven't done a band workout in a while, so I'm going to give you a band workout, something that you can do that's real simple. Now, bands are great for people who maybe don't want to do resistance work with weights or dumbbells or barbells. Or maybe you don't have access to a gym. So bands are pretty inexpensive. And these bands come in different sizes and different thicknesses. And that represents how much resistance you're using for each band. The thicker the band, the greater the resistance. Like this one is probably about 30 pounds of resistance. And this one is about 40 pounds. Then 20 pounds. And the yellow ones is only about 10 pounds of resistance. So that's, you know, basically what you're going to work with. Now bands, you're not going to really build a lot of muscle. You're not, you're not, you're not there to bodybuild when you're doing bands. Bands are great for building tone, for building uh, endurance, for building strength, and kind of give you that whole sleek look. So when you want to build muscle, you're going to go to the gym for that, doing the heavy work, heavy weight lifting. But bands are going to get you a long ways to get you conditioned and give you that nice, tone, defined look with bands. So just because... Their bands doesn't mean it's going to be easy. So I'm going to choose a band that's pretty medium for me because I'm going to be talking to you. But, but so don't choose something that's real easy for you. Choose something that's going to give you some uh, workout. So today we're going to break this up into body parts. Usually I do a band and I give you the whole body routine. But today I'm going to give you like a Monday and, and a Thursday routine, a Tuesday and Friday, then a Wednesday and Saturday. So you're going to do three different uh, body parts for each day. So let's start with, uh, I'll do... Kind of a medium resistance. Uh, yeah, I just kind of take it easy on myself today. Also, also make sure that your bands have a little sheath around them. As opposed to the yellow band. The yellow one does not have any sheath around it. So when you step on this band, you're stepping directly onto the band material. And it tends to wear a little bit more if you step directly onto the material. But if you have the little sheath around it like this, then it tends to put your wear pattern onto this little sheath and doesn't wear away at your band as easily so be aware of that these are by SPRI Spree and you can order these online by Spree and it comes in different weights like 10, 20, 30s and 40s so that's how you do it enough chat let's get on with the show so we're going to start with arm day so the first day may be Monday and Thursday you'll do arms so just arms. We're going to do biceps and triceps. I'm going to give you maybe two to three exercises for each body part. And we're going to move on from there. All right. So you're going to start by taking a stance right in the middle of your band. Chest up, shoulder back. You're always going to be in anatomical position when you're doing exercises. Anatomical is basically chest up, shoulders back. You're like in the military. You know, chest up, shoulders back. That's how we do it. Taking a position, you're going to lean back a little bit. Take kind of a medium stance. Leaning back a little bit, palms facing forward, and you're going to pull straight up. All right? That's how we're going to do it. And you'll do like 15 to 20. With bands, you're going to do high repetitions. If I was trying to build muscle, I'd be doing probably 8 to 12 reps. But with bands, you're building tone. You know, you're going for, you know, a different look. Building endurance. You're building strength. So you don't have to really go for low repetitions. You're going to be going for high repetitions. So, and I'm not going to be counting mine, so whatever this is, you know, I'm just letting it go. Going by the, going, letting the force lead me. So I'll stop at about 20. Okay, we'll say it's about 19 and uh, 20. All right, so I, I did 20. Well, your 20 won't look like that. You're going to do 20 and it, you should have some left in the tank. So you're not going to exhaust yourself on this. So that's going to be the first one, biceps, that one. We're going to go to the triceps. So when you're going to the triceps, you're going to stay in the same position. You're going to widen your stance, really wide stance. Let me kind of get over, well, I'll get over here so you can see. Wide stance. And from here, you're going to bring your elbows up, bring your chest up, shoulders back. You're going to kick. This is called kickbacks. Same way you're going to do it, 15 to 20. You feel this in the triceps, the back of the arm. Kickbacks. Great exercise. And keep your elbows up. Don't let your elbows drop. The body wants to drop the elbows. You have to keep them up high to affect where you want it. 18 to 20, 18, 19, and 20. We're going to pause there. You're going to go back to bicep exercise number one again. You immediately, these are called supersets, which means when you finish one exercise, you're going to go immediately to the next exercise. 
Still doing bicep exercise number one, tricep exercise number one. All right? Good. Keep it going. You're going to do 20 again. All right? Once you finish that, you're going to take a different stance. I changed my position so that you can see. You don't really have to turn to do your tricep exercises. Kicking back. There you are. Kicking. Kick. Kick. Good. My head's going to be up. Chest is going to be always up. Elbows up. Kicking back. So that is bicep and tricep exercise number one. You repeat that for four rep for four sets. So I only did two sets right then. So normally I go right back to it for set number three. I do this for 20 repetitions again. Once I finish that, you deepen your stance. 20 repetitions on those triceps. This is set number three. When you finish that, take your stance again. Back to the front. 20 repetitions. This is set number four. All right. When you finish 20 repetitions, kick back. By now, those last 20 repetitions are going to be difficult. And that first set of them I told you was easy, well, it's not easy anymore. This is, this is work. So there you are. You have your tricep exercise number one, bicep exercise number two. Now let's go to the uh, number one. Bicep exercise number two and tricep exercise number two. So for this one, I'll try to let you see it. Let's see. Actually, I'll take a back stance. I'm going to step on it. I'm going to step through. So I'm still now. Now the, the uh, I'm stepping in the back back leg is where the bands are, and from here I'm pulling directly onto my my uh, armpits. From there, you're working a different part of the bicep. This is called the long head of the bicep. A different part of it, and you're just pulling from there. Because of the position of the body, you're still doing biceps, but it's worked a different part of it, and you'll be able to tell once you finish that. You're going to go for 20 repetitions, pulling right toward the armpits. You're not going to be in front of the body like you're doing before. Straight up the body. In fact, in fact I'm following this line right here. That's what my, 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 my movement is, following that line from my leg, just dragging it straight up. These are called drag curls, just in that position. All right? That's number two for bicep exercises. Now my tricep, we're going to go overhead from here. Let me see. Yeah, I'll, step, I'll do it from behind. I'm going to step back. Yeah, from there. And I'm going to go straight overhead here. Two. Let me turn and allow you to see that. My pl I'm on the back leg. Straight up. Yeah. Tricep. Once you finish that one, you're going to go back to the drag curl. In fact, you're going to stay on that back leg, and you're going to drag straight up the body. 20. Again. When you finish, straight overhead. Don't have to change your position. Triceps. Tricep extension. 20. So you're going to do four sets of those. So that's four, that was, we only did two sets right there, just then. So you'll be doing four sets of your first exercise, four sets of the second one. So let's review this thing. You start your exercises. Standard bicep curl, here. 20 repetitions. When you finish your 20, you're gonna step back, wider stance, elbows up, kickbacks. 20. When you finish those 20, step up again, Biceps. All right, here's set number two. You do 20, step back, and 20. That's only two sets. You're going to do that four times. Once you finish those four, now the band's going to go on the back leg. Rather than the front leg, you're going to step through. The band's on the back leg, and now you're going to drag up the body. That's bicep. Drag straight up. And then for triceps, elbows going by the side of the head, pushing straight up. Right? You'll do 20. When you finish that one, go right back up. Drag curls for 20. All right? You're going to do four sets. So that's eight sets for biceps, eight sets for triceps, 20 repetitions each set. That should take you about 15 minutes to do. If you, if you feel like you need to stop, just stop. After every set, once you finish your biceps and then you do your triceps, you can rest for 30 seconds if you need to. Then go right back to it. 
and then rest for 30 seconds. But ultimately, you want to try and just, just push right through it, and you can do that. All right, that's Monday, that's Thursday. Let's go to Tuesday, and let's go to uh, Friday. We'll do shoulders, okay? And let's see, go do shoulders. What should we do with shoulders? Shoulders and, uh, I'll tell you, we're just making a shoulder day, a shoulder workout. So we're going to work working on here. You'll be doing a little bit of chest, a little bit of upper back, most of the shoulders. So on this one, you're going to stay in kind of a medium position stance. Your weight is on the front leg. That's where the bands are. You can go straight out. Here. There you go. Like a boy. Flying. That's it. 20 repetitions. These are called lateral raises. Hitting 20. Yeah. When you finish 20 there, you can pause if you need to. But then you're going to go... Let me see how much I have on the back leg. Go from here, straight up. Shoulder press for 20. On the back leg. Right on. Good. From here, staying on the back leg. I'm going to go sh front shoulder raises. Here. On that back leg. Good. 20. I haven't even done 20 and I can feel this my shoulders already. So you'll be taking breaks often on that one because you're just staying with shoulders on this one. This is really building the shoulder exercises there. And now we're going to do a last one. This is kind of a combination. It's going to be an upright row, but you're going to be doing it for the shoulders and for the traps. So you're going to be pulling straight up on this one. Straight up. Maybe a little bit of chest on this. Straight up. And coming to about shoulder height. All those birds are beautiful. Are beautiful. All right, shoulder height. That's where we're going. Just like that. All right. So that's your fourth exercise. So that's gonna go, that's gonna be one set. And you can take a break wherever you need to. Let's go back again. Sitting on the front leg now. Front leg. You're starting out your, your day. 20 repetitions. Lateral raise. Yeah. yeah. Laterals. Good. Once you've done your 20. You're gonna step through now. You're on the back leg. Bringing this up, straight overhead for 20. Good. Once you've got that, you're gonna to go to uh, front raises. To the front for 20. Here. All right, and then the last one, raises. Upright rolls for 20. Got it. We're just going to show you from the side what this looks like. Front leg, you're going to begin with it first. Chest up. Lateral raises. Here. Stepping through. Upright. Shoulder press. Number three. Front shoulder raise. And the last one. Upright rolls. All right. So that's number two. It's going to be a shoulder day. And because you're working all parts of the shoulder, you know, front, the side, you're working the back, you're doing it all around when you're going to exercise. So that's going to be on your Tuesdays, and that's going to be on your Friday workouts. All right. Let's go to the chest and back. Good. So chest and back. We start with the chest exercise. We're going to go on the back leg now. I'm going to step forward. I'm going to bring this quick here. So all the enemy on the outside of your arm, this one's going to be on the inside. And from here, let that shoulders come back. Press straight forward. Here. There you go. Straight forward. So that's exercise number one. You're going to do 20 repetitions. And as soon as you finish that one, you can go immediately to a uh, row. You're going to be on the front leg again. You're going to step back through the front leg. And from here, you're going to be pulling straight up the leg as far back as you can. Here. It's a good feel for that. you got to bring those, those shoulder blades back together when you pull back on the back exercises. Here and back together. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. That's what makes it work. There you go. 20 reps. Really contract. And once you finish.
finish, that's your first set. First set of chest, that's your first set of back exercises. If you need to take a 30 second break, take a 30 second break, shake it out, and go right back to your chest exercise. Bring it on the inside, remember? Here, shoulders back, push it straight up. Well, kind of in front of you, not straight ahead, but in front of you a little bit. Here. All right? 20 repetitions. Once you finish that one, you're going to step back. You're going to be in the back position. You're going to step back. So at first, you will forward for your chest exercise. And now you're going to step back. See how wide my stance is? Real wide stance. You're going to pull back. There you go. There you go. So that's uh, back exercise number, number one. Chest and back number one. So let's go to chest exercise number two. Then back exercise number two. You're going to step forward, stepping through. With all your chest exercises, you're going to be in the back leg. Arms out. You're going to do a fly now. Yeah. Pulling it forward. Bringing that chest. Put that chest in. That's how you're going to do it. 20 repetitions. When you finish that one, you're going to step through for the back exercises. You're on the front leg now. And this one, I'll show you a little bit from the side. The key with all back exercises is you got to bring those shoulder blades together. Just the shoulders come back and the blades got to come together. So as I'm, as I'm doing this one, I'm coming back like this. It's a short movement, but I'm bringing those shoulders. See how my shoulders are moving? Back, forward, back. So I've got to squeeze. It's like I'm opening them up. I'm closing. And I really feel that in my back. So that's an alternate row. So that's, uh, that's your second back exercise and your second chest exercise. So again, chest exercise number two. Stepping through, you're on the back leg, coming forward. Fly. Stepping back. You're on the front leg. I'm only turning so that you can see. Coming back. Here. My arms are pretty straight now. The first one, you were doing up and you were bending the elbows here. Now you got the arms pretty much straight. You're just trying to bring those shoulders, shoulder blades together. That's number two. Alright. So to review your chest and back day, so your Tuesday and Thursday day, you're gonna step forward, bring these on the inside, chest, here. 20 reps. When you finish that, you're gonna step back. 20 reps, bring it straight toward the midline, bring it straight to the to the waist, right on the hip joint. There's exercise number two. Chest exercise number two. You're gonna be coming forward with flies. And then you're gonna step back through with back exercise number two. Opening up, bring those shoulder blades back together. There you go. Yeah, so there goes your chest and back day. Uh, let's see, we did shoulders. Oh, that's, that's, that was chest and back day. That is your Wednesday and, and Saturday day. I got, I got mixed up. Sorry about that. So you did first day Monday and Wednesday. Monday and Thursday. Let's get it together, Gene. Monday and Thursday was biceps and triceps. Tuesday and uh, Friday was shoulders. That's the fourth exercise we did. And then the ones we just did was for chest and back. So that's going to be your overall routine. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you're going to repeat that again. Now, a little few bonus things for, for legs, for instance. For legs, you can do those with the bands. You can do those any day of the week. You can add those on your shoulder day. If I was going to do legs, I'll throw legs on my shoulder day, which is on a Tuesday. It'll be on a, a Friday, your leg day. And you would just take a position on your forward band, bringing these up. I see I'll bring them on the outside, like that to my shoulder. And from here, you're just going to drop down. Keep your chest up, and keep your balance, and drop down, straight. And you'll feel that. And then when you finish, you just take the opposite, do the opposite knee, and then just drop down. That's gonna be one exercise. And then the next one, you're gonna do for squats, you're gonna step on the band with both, both feet on the band, bringing this here, have a good, good stance, and you're gonna go through a squat position. And you'll do 20 repetitions there. So those are some simple ones that you can do for, for legs, two exercises. And that's gonna do it, guys. So that's a 
a full band workout doing body parts. You got your, your Monday and Thursday, Tuesday and Friday, Wednesday and Saturday. All right, that's gonna do it. Whatever you're doing the rest of your day, make it as awesome as you are, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.